Greetings guys, gals, non-binary pals and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well and I hope that you are fighting because there is a lot to be fighting for. As usual there will be a link in the description to the page on my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to MPs, etc, etc. So this week I am going to be going through one of my favourite Twitter accounts at Accidental Left. I love this account so much. We've been through it once before a few months ago and you all really seem to like it. So I thought I would do it again. So basically it's conservatives saying things that are actually left. They are agreeing with us and it's fantastic. So we're gonna be looking through that. But before I do get into that, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to change your location to almost anywhere in the world, which gives you access to a whole range of content that would not normally be available to you in your region. My favorite part of this is being able to access Netflix libraries from other countries because sometimes the options aren't always the best. When I was back home in New Zealand, New Girl, which is my comfort show, was taken off of Netflix and I was absolutely devastated. So I just went into Surfshark, I changed my location to the US and then I could continue binge watching New Girl six times a year. And it was fantastic <laughs> because I need that show. It is my comfort show and it, I love it. <laughs> Not only that, but Surfshark also adds an extra layer of protection to all of your internet usage by encrypting all of your data. This means that it keeps all of your data and information completely safe and hackers will never be able to get to it, which is amazing, especially when you're on dodgy public Wi-Fi that isn't always secure, you're guaranteeing to keep all of your things safe. Surfshark also doesn't store or track any of your data. So with all of that, you know that you can use the internet completely safely and worry-free anywhere you are. You can also use Surfshark on an unlimited amount of devices at any given time. So you can be watching New Girl on your laptop and shopping on your phone connected to any Wi-Fi network without any fear of anything being stolen or tracked. And if all of this sounds great, a way to make it even better is that if you use the link in my description and use the code QueerKiwi, you get 83% off as well as your first three months completely Free. It is a really, really great way for you to support me and my channel as well as getting something amazing in return for yourself. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring the video and let's get into it. <laughs> First off, I don't have any evidence because all statistics are left-leaning. <laughs> facts don't support my claims so therefore they are not facts. They are all made up. If the facts don't back what I say, they are not facts. They have been fabricated by the left. Doctors, scientists, and all other professionals have just made up a whole bunch of information. Everything that you hear is actually a lie. It's fake. They've all made it up. Why? I Leftist agenda. That, that's why. That's the only reason. Everyone's been brainwashed. Everything is fake. Do you know how stupid you sound? <laughs> You think everything is fake and everything is fabricated and made up because you want to choose to continue to oppress people and see yourself as better than everyone else. That's, that's, that's what it is. You don't like facts because they tell you to not be an asshole and you want to be an asshole. But I'm glad that you acknowledge that you have no evidence. You have no facts and you are just spouting bullshit all the time. We've been new, but thank you for confirming. By that logic, gender isn't a thing. It doesn't actually exist. It's just a concept. There is nothing to define a gender and it doesn't change anything. If that were true, there would be no real reason to have gender as it is a useless label with no boundaries. Exactly! This is what we've been trying to say this whole time. Gender is a social construct that has been taught. It is so much more than what we are taught. If we were taught that everything was for everyone and anyone, Life would be so much better. Everyone would be so much happier. If we weren't assigned roles based off of the genitals we are born with, think of how much better life would be. If everyone had the same opportunities and ability to do different things and we were allowed to express ourselves in the same way and however we wished to without being yelled at for it. That would be so good. And I don't mean to invalidate any trans people in that statement. I think that that is still a separate thing as being trans is a biological thing. Whereas gender is more of a social thing. Like you can be a trans man and into very feminine things and wear dresses and wear makeup and do more feminine things. Or you can be a trans woman and do more masculine things that are typically for men. 
and your gender is still valid. You know what I mean? And like, kind of like a lot of non-binary people are often misgendered for their assigned gender because they express themselves in a similar way to their assigned gender. But that's not the gender that they are. I think that that is a biological thing and the social construct of gender is separate to that. If that makes sense. Gender isn't real. I think that the gender roles we are assigned and the things we are expected to do because of our gender is null and I don't think that should exist. But I think transness is a separate issue because that's a biological thing, if that makes sense. I am very sorry if that was invalidating for anyone. I agree with what this said, but if you have a different opinion, let me know. I don't mean to invalidate anyone. When you see people put their pronouns in their bio, you pretty much know exactly what kind of person they are. Yes, you know that they are supportive of the LGBTQ plus community or they are a part of it. And those are the type of people I wish to be around. I like people who are supportive of me and who are allies. And that's not to say people who don't have their pronouns in their bio are not that type of person because Obviously not everyone puts their pronouns in their bio. A lot of trans people don't because it can cause dysphoria. I understand that and I respect that. That's, that's fine. If you don't have your pronouns in your bio, that's chill. But if you do, I know what type of person you are and it is that you are an ally. So I'm glad that we agree. I, <laughs> it's not a negative thing. So I'm glad that we're all on the same page. In many ways, if you lose the schools, you lose the future. The woke left is a direct result of the education system in the US. <laughs> Firstly, the woke left doesn't just exist in the US. I don't know why Americans are so US centric. They're like, yes, the US, America, we are the only place in the entire world. We're the only place that matters. We're the only place with politics. We're the only place that exists. I, yes, the woke left, my, my woke leftness stems purely from the US education that I didn't receive because I've never been to the US. I <laughs> but ignoring that, I like that it's education is teaching children facts and it's ruining them. Education, you know, the, the place we send our children to learn, it's teaching them, it's teaching them facts and I don't like those facts. I hate, I hate school, I hate the education because it is teaching our children. How dare schools teach children? How dare they teach them an updated curriculum? How dare we update curriculums? Why aren't we teaching them the same things we were teaching in the 1940s? Nothing has changed. Sh clearly, not nothing has changed in the world since the 1940s. So we should keep teaching them that. I don't think we should update. The amount of people who just want to continue life like it's the 1940s, as though things don't ever change. Like, life... We adapt, we grow, we learn things, technology advances, we figure things out, we always have. If you don't ever want to grow, then what? We gonna, you want to be living in the caveman days? What do you want? We have to let society adapt and grow as we learn new things. <laughs> Maybe we ought to go to $20 an hour. Why stop at 15? Scoffs House Republican arguing against wage hike. The Republican lawmaker didn't acknowledge that had the federal minimum wage kept pace with productivity, it would be around $24 an hour today. This is an excellent question. As said in the little subtext, why should we stop at $15? Why should we stop at $15? $20 sounds so much better. It should be 24. Things should adapt as society adapts. We have just started exploiting workers to the absolute maximum degree and it's awful and it's disgusting and it's so shocking. It's so shocking. Life is more expensive now. We should be paid more for that. Minimum wage and living wage should not be two separate things. Why is it okay to pay someone less than they deserve to live? People should be allowed to live, man. Why don't, why? Why would they not be allowed to live? Why, why would, why would we do that? Why would we not let them live? That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. $20 an hour, $23 an hour is still an entirely plausible idea. So many companies are just sitting on hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars that could be used to pay their workers. So many CEOs and higher ups have so much money that they can never ever spend. Even if they tried, they could not spend. And they could be giving it to the people that are earning them that money. 
But instead, they want to sit on it for what? Just to be like, I have more money than you, therefore I am better than you. What am I going to do with the money? Oh, I'm just going to look at it. I'm not going to fucking do anything with it. Why would I? I want it so I can prove that I'm better than you. You're starving? Maybe you should have thought about that. Maybe you should work harder and get a different job. Oh, you work for me? Well, I'm not going to pay you even though you work your ass off because I don't want to give you the money, even though I wouldn't have my money without you. Just pay people enough to live. Literally, what the fuck? <laughs> there is enough money. There is so much money. We could all be able to live if we just distributed the money better. Everyone. There would be no starving people, no homeless people, if we just distributed the wealth better. But no, people are fucking greedy and don't want to do that. And it's fucked. On the same vein as that, not a single type 1 diabetic has a choice in the matter. Creating a market out of a product with no flex and demand is asinine, even if you believed in free market ideals. Also by that logic, water, food, and housing should also be free. Yes, you are correct. That is entirely true. They should be free. You shouldn't have to work your ass off just to be allowed to live. You're right. <laughs> You shouldn't have to do that. Everyone deserves food, water, shelter, and healthcare. We all deserve to be alive. I don't know what's so hard to understand about that. I don't know why people disagree with that. I don't know how you can disagree with that. If you want to pull the, I worked hard for my money, I deserve more. Okay, fine. Work hard for the extras. What? That's a better solution. That's a better idea than what we have going now. Everyone, despite whether you work or not, should have food, water, and a place to live, and healthcare. Basics. Everyone should have that. If you want more than that, like you want a mansion, or you want to go on a big overseas trip, or you want like a bunch of really consumeristic shit and fancy clothes and whatever, then work for it. That's what you can, you can earn extra for that. Cool. There we go. Fine. But let people have the necessities to live, at the very least. And we can afford to do that. That is possible in today's society. We are able to provide that for people. And yet there are people out here like, no, no, you deserve to starve. What? You are, you are a bad person. You are a bad person and you lack empathy. Just let people live. It doesn't affect you at all. You should not have to work to survive. And the fact that there are people who are having to work, like, three jobs a week to survive, particularly, is fucked. You don't even just have to work to survive right now, you have to, like, work to survive. There are so many people who don't have lives. They are barely living because they have to work so much just to be able to make ends meet. And it's disgusting. It's awful. Everyone deserves to be able to live and enjoy things. We need to return the ownership of these huge corporations to everyday folks, the people who do the work. It's the only way to stop their socialist agenda. You know how to stop socialists? Socialism. I mean, he's not wrong. We'll shut up about socialism if you give us socialism. So he's got a point. He's got a point. He'll stop our agenda if he gives us what we want. <laughs> Educate yourself. Damn, I wish I was a Trump supporter so I could have shitty comebacks. Damn, I wish I was more educated so I could be liberal. <laughs> Trump stands really out here just calling themselves out. At least they know that they don't know what they're talking about. At least they know they're just brainwashed and spouting bullshit. And I'm glad that he's self-aware that he is uneducated and doesn't know what he talks about. He just doesn't like the left because he's been told not to and because they want to maintain their place above other people. They don't want to change. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to educate themselves. They just want to be angry and yell at people and call them snowflakes and slurs. And I'm glad they're aware of that at least. I wish they didn't do that, <laughs> but I'm glad they are aware of their stupidity. Trans men are not women. Trans women are not men. You don't choose your gender. God does. Are you seriously going to question what God made you? Correct. Trans people have been their gender their entire lives. Trans men are and have always been men, and trans women are and always have been women, and non-binary people are and have always been non-binary. They just haven't always expressed that. They've always been the gender that they are, they just haven't always outwardly expressed that or acknowledged it. So I'm glad that you agree that they have always been their gender.
I'm glad that you know. I'm glad that we're on the same page. I think I'm going to leave this one here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I always find these ones really fun. So let me know what you thought and if you want to see another one of these sometime or if there's anything else you want to see. A massive thank you to my Kiwi Fruit and Kiwi Bird channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. And a huge thank you to my channel member of the day, Flint. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the top link in the description or the little blue join button. You get my videos a day early and 10% off my shop at thequeerkiwi.com slash shop. And I've just added a new tier where you get a little bit of bonus footage that doesn't make it into my videos. Thank you so, so much for coming along. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm about to hit 250K, which is phenomenal. Thank you in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. I am so grateful to all of you. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah! <laughs> and when you close your eyes, you play